how much time has passed from the time on the left to the time on the right? So we have a clock on the left and a clock on the right with different times shown. And we want to know how much time has passed since the clock set read this first time till it read the second time. We're also told the time passed is less than 12 hours. That's helpful. That means we know that this first clock wasn't, say, sometime on Monday, and the second one was sometime on Wednesday, and these hands have been going around and around. We know the time passed is less than 12 hours. So the first thing I think we should do to figure out the difference in these times is to figure out what are these times. Let's read these clocks. Over here on the left, looking at our hour hand first, it's between 6 and 7. So the hour hand starts at the top and it's gone past 6 o'clock, but it's not quite to 7. So it's 6 something, could be 6.15, 6.20, we'll figure out the minutes next. But we know it's some amount of minutes after 6, but not yet 7. And now let's look at those minutes. The minute hand again started at the top and it's gone 5 minutes, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, can't go to 45 here, so we got to count by ones. 41, 42, 43. It is 43 minutes after 6 o'clock, or 6.43 on the left. On the right, our hour hand is just after the 9, so it's soon after 9 o'clock, but it's definitely not to 10 yet. And then our minute hand, right here, Start at the top, and it's 5, 10, 11 minutes after the hour on the right. So the clock on the right is 9, 11. And now what we want to know is how long does it take to get from this first time, 6, 43, all the way to the second time, which is 9, 11. One way we could figure this out is to break it into little parts. Let's first, let's first just see how long does it take to get to 7 o'clock. So on this first clock, as soon as the minute hand gets up to the top, it'll be 7 o'clock. Let's see how long is that. From here where it is, it has two more minutes to get to the 9. And then from there, it has 5, 10, 15 more minutes to get all the way to the top of the clock. So until 7 o'clock will be 2 minutes plus 15 more minutes, or we can write that as 17 minutes. Then from 7, let's stick with the hours for a second, let's just get from 7 to 9 o'clock. So from 7 to 9, at 7 o'clock the hand is at the top, it'll go all the way around 1 hour to be 8 o'clock, all the way around another hour to be 9 o'clock. So that's a total from 7 to 9 of 2 hours. And then finally from 9 until 11 minutes after 9, the minute hand will be at the top, and it'll go 5, 10, 11 minutes. So this will be 11 more minutes. So in total, from 6.43 all the way to 9.11 is 17 minutes plus 2 more hours plus 11 minutes. So we can write that that's going to be 2 hours, and then we can combine our minutes 17 and 11, 17 and 11, that will be 8 ones, a 10 and a 10 is 20, so 28 minutes. It takes 2 hours and 28 minutes for the clock to go from 6.43, this time on the left, until 9.11, the time on the right.